Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and welcome back to another ramble session on a Monday. So today, I'm actually at the hospital, currently having surgery. <laughs> I don't know, whatever time you're watching this, I'm having surgery in the morning. Yes, I've got to get up at 4 o'clock tomorrow morning, drink this stuff, and then head off to the hospital with my husband and my sweet daughter. Um, yeah, so... Let's see. My procedure is at 7.30 in the morning and it's going to take, I think, two to three hours. Yeah. So, and then I'm going to have to spend from one to three days in the hospital. Yeah. So, um, I think the only thing that I'm taking to the hospital with me is um, my Bible so that I can catch up on my Bible study and yeah, I don't think I'm going to be taking any of my journaling stuff. It's just like way too much stuff. And I don't know how mobile I'm going to be. I mean, I'm sure they're going to get me up walking fairly soon, probably that day, I would guess. Um, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. And if you didn't know, yeah, I'm in the hospital for a major surgery. They are resecting a tumor. So... Yes, a, a malignant tumor. So, yeah, we're going to get that all, you know, taken care of. We're going to give uh, Brad the boot. And then, yeah, and then I'm just going to recover. So, you know, it'll all be good. It'll all turn out well. So today what I want to do is clean off the desk. Yeah, because it's a disaster. Yeah. So let's uh, get going. Okay. I am, I've got so much stuff. Look at that. This is from my, when I gave blood or, or when they took blood, I don't willingly give blood. I mean, physically I'm not supposed to, you know, but yeah. So I kept that. I don't, I don't know if it'll go in the book or not. This past week I was at the hospital twice to, uh, for them to take my blood for different reasons. Um, ouch, ouch, ouch. Come on. Yeah, so that's what's going on. So this whole week, um, hopefully, you know, like I said, hopefully I'll be back home, you know, in the next couple of days. I don't know when I'll be in here filming next. Uh, I'll probably, I don't know, be recuperating. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, it's one to three days, I think they said. Well, like the one... The surgeon's TA came in and he was like, oh, it's like a minimum three days, you know. And I'm like, God, oh, crap, you know. But then when I spoke with the surgeon, he was like, oh, you're pretty healthy, you know, otherwise. So I don't see any reason you wouldn't be able to go home the next day. So we'll see. It all depends. I will be having, um, sorry if this is TMI, but I will be having to have a chest tube. And so it's it all, like, depends on that, like... I don't know. The stopping, the draining, I don't know. I don't know. You know, guys, this is the first time I've ever done this. So, <laughs> in 53 years, I can count myself blessed that I've never had a major surgery. So, you know, but, and I would be lying if I said I wasn't in any way scared. So, yes, I am. But that's okay. It's okay to be scared. Um, yeah. But it's also, you know, okay to remember that I'm not the first and, and I certainly won't be the last, unfortunately, to get this surgery. So it'll all be okay. It'll all be okay. Um, I, you know, I have extreme peace over the whole thing. And uh, yeah, that's all I need. So now this morning I came in here. My kids are here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. They surprised me. Wasn't that so sweet? Oh my gosh, I cried like a baby. Um, happy tears, of course. Happy tears. Because, um, yeah, my daughter was coming in anyway because... Let me just have a sip of coffee since it's sitting right here. It's a little early this morning. But I wanted to do this before the kiddos got up and before, um, you know, we leave in, in case they wanted to go somewhere. So... These I have to put in my journal in a minute once I get through this whole pile that's on my desk. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, 
my daughter was supposed to come in. Well, she did come in. They, they were coming in on, she was coming in on Friday and she's going to stay with us until Wednesday um, because she's leaving to go to Washington DC on Friday. So <laughs> she's a busy little woman, right? Um, yeah. So she is, um, you know, gracious, graciously was able to come up here and take care of either me, my husband or our dog. Okay. So yeah, th those are her jobs. <laughs> um, but then of course, you know, like my son, he, he works and well, yeah. And my son's fiance works. So they are not able to stay through the surgery and all that, but that's okay. So they came up, um, Friday and it was such a surprise, you know, cause we always go downstairs to meet whomever is coming, you know, with the puppy and he's so excited and he does his little zoomies and he's just so cute and he loves his, his Sadie. Okay. That's my daughter. And so all you have to say is Sadie's coming and he just gets just way out of proportion excited. Okay. So yeah, when I saw my son has a white Tahoe. So when I saw the white car drive up instead of my, my daughter has a, a black Cadillac, but when I saw the white truck, I, I just started crying, you know? Yeah. Cause it was just so, so sweet. We did, it was so unexpected and it was such a wonderful surprise. So they've been with us through the weekend. Last night we went over to dinner at Mama and Papa's. My husband made really yummy homemade from scratch focaccia bread. It was delicious. And he made shrimp pasta, which is one of my kids' favorites from, from when they were little. And it's also one of Papa's favorites. So yeah, we had a really nice dinner together and the kids went out. So I have a little bit of a haul. Well, I have a haul from Amazon and then I have a little bit of a haul from my kiddos, which was very sweet. So let's get through all this. So yesterday while we were just hanging out, um, I did begin the 10, the 10, uh, envelope journals that I intend to do. Aren't they looking pretty, right? They're going to all be vintage style. So I started on those yesterday and that's super exciting. Just started with a simple collage. I'm going to do a simple collage on the front, simple collage on the inside. And then I'm going to use these, uh, button, whatever they're called button. It's a photocopy, right? And it, this is a free download, right? On my, uh, channel right here. You just scroll down into the description box and you'll see these you can download them for free so let me see there's a couple things in here though in this pile i think okay so here is this so these all go together somewhere this is a mishap well, that goes over there so put those up there i and the reason of course that I'm cleaning off my desk is, be is because I'm not going to be here. So when I get home, I want to come home to a nice clean desk. So this is from song of songs or song of Solomon. This is from the, um, I was telling you, or I will be telling you this week. I did go ahead and publish the Bible study, pro my Bible study process video. So that's coming up. Um, but this is the visual from Bible project and I just printed it out. And what I do is I cut it to shape, you know, and then I, I stick it into the spine of my Bible at the beginning of the book. And it's just a cartoon, a visual showing all the different aspects of that particular book in the Bible. And it's super helpful because I'm a really visual person. So there's that. Okay. Let's get down to this. This is part of my haul. This is part of my haul. I need to put all my glues away. Yeah because I'm not, like I said, I'm not taking anything with me. I'm going to use the time in the hospital for, um, just recuperating, you know, just recuperating. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I guess this needs to go in the book somehow. So I need to put this with that. These are my, these are my, uh, days that I get from Loveland's life. Okay, my glue, this glue here goes up here. I have a whole bunch of Sweet Penny. If you didn't see the haul that I got from Sweet Penny, um, it was a magazine haul. Oh my gosh, was it ever delightful. So I have all these, all these um, things floating around. She even sent me this 
Florida. Florida lands at low prices. That was like a long time ago. It must have been, but interesting nonetheless. Yeah. Here are all the county lines like Day County, Broward, Palm Beach, and there's the Lake Okeechobee. Yeah. The Everglades, all that. It's just so cool. So cool. So I have all those. Here is a flare pen. Now I have to tell you, I have switched from flare pens to ballpoint pens. And I don't know if I even showed you these yet or not. Yes. Okay. So that I'll show you. I'm not sure if I did or not. Um, this is the friction. These, I don't know what they're called. Friction colors, but these are, yeah, they're not highlighters, but they're just colored pens, but they're erasable. So I don't use them for anything other than writing stuff in my journal, which is here. Yeah, so these pens need to be put away. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Find your balance. That's going to go in my book. I did set some of these things aside um, from Penny's wonderful happy mail. Some washi tape here. I would use this that she sent as well for cleaning, but guess what? I didn't clean. I didn't clean. Yeah. So that goes over there in that pile. All right. This is for the haul ish. Oh gosh. I'm going to have craft a lunch, guys. A craft a lunch. This gets put away my pliers. These are what I use like when I staple something. Oh, look, there's another one. Uh, she sent me, I mean, if you missed, if you missed it, go back and, and check it out. She, uh, Penny's Happy Meal was unbelievable. It was 11 pounds of magazines and magazine clippings, some that she had fussy cut out, some that, um, you know, were just the whole magazine itself. And then some she had just sent the pages, you know, so super fun. I might though, that is one thing that I could take to the hospital to do is, is take like two of the not the magazines themselves, I don't think, but two of the folders that she sent me, like, I'll show you because they're right here next to me. She sent me a bunch of these folders, right? So they're all these loose leaf um, things and I can actually take these and, and cut them out, right? I'm hoping as hopefully I won't be writhing in pain or anything like that. <laughs> I don't know though. I don't know. Like I said, this is the first time this I've ever gone through anything like this. I think this is hilarious because this is so my husband and me. There you have it, right? Yeah. So this goes in my book somewhere. I just don't know where yet. I can't, I can't remember when I printed that out. This is for the haul as well. Oh, this goes in my book. This is Lydia's things. I haven't been in here in a few days. So let's move this pile up here. This goes in my book somewhere. Here are my faith stickers. Love those. Got those at Hobby Lobby. This goes in the recycle bin because I did use, I did use that. Okay, we're getting down here. This goes in my sticker collection thing. I'm just putting some other random stickers away while I'm over here. Okay, here are some printables. Now, let's move the piles. Let's move the piles. So, this is all my my haul-ish. Okay, that's extra paper. Here's a nice thin, thin pen. This pen I use uh, when I need to write small. And this I actually got. There's no name on it. It's a no-name pen, but I know that I got it at Dollar Tree. So if you're interested, there's that. Okay. Um, look at these beautiful painty papers. Aren't they gorgeous? This was, again, this was from Penny as well. So love these, and I've used them in my book. I will show you. Okay, that goes somewhere else. Okay, so printable printable. Oh yes. I also received a happy mail from sweet Allison. So yeah, we've got a little bit of a haul and we have a, let me scooch that over there. And we have a wonderful happy mail from sweet Allison. Yes. So lovely. Here is a notepad that needs to be put away. Oh, you know what I might bring is this right here to take notes in as I'm in the hospital. Like what's happening. Like how many times did they wake me up this night to take blood? You know, I don't know. I don't know. 
hopefully it will all go well. And then here is a bunch of like, there. it's just in a pile right at the moment, but these are a bunch of the printables that sweet penny, not printables, um, cutouts, you know, like fussy cutouts. Oh my gosh. So lovely. Yeah. I need to go get a box that is currently in my closet right now so that I can put all of these in and there's more. I mean, this is only a fraction of them, right? Oh yeah. I can't forget the energizer bunny. Cause that's what I'm going to be when I get out of the hospital. I'm going to be the energizer bunny. No one's going to be able to stop me. All right. So there's that. There's this. Okay. So now we can put these away right there. Okay. This stuff goes in my book. So let's just see. This goes in Saturday because this is what some of the stuff. These are my pretty painty papers. That goes in my Bible. Okay. Now I have it sort of. Okay. I don't know where this goes because I haven't figured it out. This I printed on Saturday. Love it. The Bible's the only book where the author is in love with the reader. Get it? Instead of the other way around. So there's that. Friday. This is February and June's. Um, this is her <sighs> prompt. And I have not done it. So you might not be able to see it for like another week or two, depending on when I get back in here. So this had to do with smell. What's the worst thing you smelled recently? Hmm. I would say the shrimp that my, like the shrimp shells that my husband was cleaning the other night for dinner. Um, find your balance. Let me see. Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Friday. This was on Thursday. I think, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I can put that there. I don't know. This was on this day cause I went and gave blood this day. I went and gave more blood. The kids came, had tears of joy. We had wine on the dock and I also filmed a, my Bible study process this day. So while I'm thinking about it, let me see, is it in here? Yes. Okay. So this is where I keep my little camera things to say that I have filmed. So, whoops. So that can go there or, oh, it's the same one. I thought one was smaller than the other. Okay. So there's that. I was also did my walking and all that kind of stuff. Now, when was this? I do believe, look at this. This is craziness. There was a storm rolling in. Okay. Is that not weird? That's beyond the storm. Obviously this is looking West. There's blue clear skies over there. And this was just black, black. And then this is looking out the East toward the ocean. And this was all the right side was like clear and nice. And then here was a huge thunderhead, you know, cumulonimbus, whatever you call it. I think that was, that was not on Friday. So that was, that was on Thursday. That was on Thursday. This was on Thursday. This was on Thursday. These, these things come from, which I find them very helpful. You go to you version. It's an app on your, um, on your phone and it's a Bible app. And so like every day you can set a reminder to take time to pray every day. And so, yeah, that's where these come from. And I really, really enjoy them. And then Daring to set boundaries is about having the courage to love ourselves even when we risk disappointing others. Yes, I've had to um, think about setting boundaries lately. So there's that. And I think that's on Thursday as well. Okay, let's see what else. Um, then I have, yeah, so this is for Saturday because in the morning I was doing my Bible study that for that morning. And now we are to the quick... Um, okay, so this can all be tied up, I think. And this is my June book so far. And I'm going to keep notes in my, in my other, um, I love this so much. I love it. Um, I'm going to keep notes in here, hopefully, and then we'll be able to transfer them when I get back when I get back home. So there is that. Okay. So we'll quickly go into some hauls that I have now. 
One of them, I don't know if I showed you, but my my sweet friend in Happy Mail, she uh, had sent me the Pentel RSVP, and these are wonderful ballpoint pens. Let me get, yeah, these are wonderful ballpoint pens, super fun to use. And then I was happened to be at the Dollar Tree, so these have that waxy stuff on top. Okay. I wanted to see what kind of ballpoint pens they had. So I got some from the Dollar Tree. And the, here's the thing. I used to always use, here's one from the Dollar Tree. I used to always use um, the, whatchamacallit, the flare tips, right? But now that I'm using certain papers, they don't work all that well. Like they feather and I I'm not a fan of that. I'm very much a fan of a more thin line. So there you have it. And then I went and I ordered these because I saw these on Sweet Allison's, I think. She loves a good ballpoint, as do I. And oh no, these aren't what I got next. Okay, I've got ballpoint bends out the wazoo. Okay, that's all I'm saying. But let me wait on that. That was from the Amazon. I got these from the Dollar Tree as well, okay? And these are uh, retractable ballpoint pens. And these are nice. These write super nice as well. And then what I thought I wanted too was a little bit thicker, right? A little bit thicker. So I have, I got these, which, and these are called Bic, Bic Bold. Why? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of wax on that. I don't know where the box went now. Oh, here it is. They're called Crystal Extra Bold, and it's a 1.6 millimeter ball. Look at that background. I could use that, huh? Okay, anywho. So let's see if this truly is any thicker. It is. It is a bit thicker than the other one. Huh. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's nice, yeah. So I got a whole bunch of those. Those are all these color ones. They come in different colors, and then they also give you like a lot of black and blue ones, but that's okay. They come in like light blue, light green, pink, teal color. So yeah, so I got those as well. So that's super fun, and that's really full. So now I have to find another mug to put these in. Okay. Then from Amazon, I also went ahead and got these. These are called Rytec Neutral Colors Retractable Highlighters. And these I got because, oh, I'm probably going to cut this out and use it in my Bible somehow. I don't know. Um, these I got because my other ones, I used to have Mr. Pen ones, and they are running out. Uh, I, these are for my, for my Bible, right? And these are neutral colors, which now that I think about it, I probably should have got, um, brights, but it's okay. They're highlighters and they're no bleed and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I ended up getting them for, like I said, for my Bible because my other ones are running out already. Yeah. Those are fun colors, nice and neutral as they state. But yeah, super nice. I like them. So these are the ones I think I'm going to be taking to the hospital. Ooh, that's nice and dark, huh? And then this is like a blue one. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, they're pretty colors. So these I'm going to replace. I'm going to, yeah, go through my other highlighters, get rid of the ones that don't work anymore and use these. Okay. And then I also got these. How adorable. These are from Mr. Pen and they are, they are cross. Look how cute that is. They are cross, um, paper clips. Isn't that adorable? So cute. And they would look so cute. Like if I put a little ribbon in them. Yeah, they're adorable. So those were super fun to get. Um, let's see what else. Oh my gosh. And then this one I opened. <laughs> I wanted sticky notes, guys. I saw somebody have these and I can't remember who it was. I don't know if it was Stacy or what. I can't remember. But 
they're not very sticky, unfortunately. Um, I don't know. Maybe they'll, I mean, I'm sure they're, they will work well enough for, you know, putting in my Bible, but they're super cute, right? So I thought, you know, that I was getting like a couple of each or something. There's like 10 designs, folks, and there are four of these in each one. Okay. So these, a lot of these are going to be going out for happy mail. So this whole box, can you see in there? Can you see in there? It's all filled with post-it notes. It's insane, but they're so adorable. Look at them all. Oh my gosh. They are so stinking cute. So stinking cute. Let me get, I don't want to dump the whole pack out because that would just be foolish. Then I, then I'll be in here for another hour cleaning up. Like, look at that one. So stinking cute. Yeah. So a bunch of these are going to be going out in Happy Mail. Um, but they're just so cute to write, you know, little things on for anything really. Or I could take the whole thing and glue it down for a little journaling spot. I mean, you know, they're so stinking cute. So I got those. All right. Now, last but certainly not least, um, is Sweet Allison. Look at this never give up kindness peace the word gratitude pray kindness oh i love this and i think she made the envelope out of i don't know if she colored it or not i don't think so but she made it out of this uh, like it appears to me to be faith-based um scrapbook paper so so kind of her. I really, I need to get on the ball, guys, because there are so many happy mails that I need to send out. Um, it's not even funny. Some I have already started little piles, and some I haven't. And I, yeah, 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 yeah. So thank you so much, sweet Allison, and, and what a great day to receive it, right? So let's see. Oh my goodness. I love it. And there's, I'm not showing the front because it has addresses on it, but she, she put a, a love laugh live sticker on it. That's so funny. Ode to my son. Oh, sending some love and hugs your way. Oh, so sweet. Okay. So that, where's my journal? I'm putting that in here on Sunday. So Friday, Saturday, this goes in here on Sunday. Yes. Okay. So there's that. Look at these pretty things. Are these stickers? No. Scrap of paper, perhaps. I love that. This can go in there. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure. Yeah. I think this is just scrap of paper, which is fantastic. I love that. And the glitter on it. Oh, oh, this is definitely going right this second. Hold on to hope. Amen. Going right in here for tomorrow, which is actually today. And I'm, you know, having surgery. Oh, look at these. She mod podge them. So they're like journaling cards. Oh, this home believes rejoice in his word. They're all faith-based. How lovely. Love one another. Oh. <gasps> So pretty. Walk by faith. Oh, I love this. Thank you so much. This is so thoughtful. So unbelievably thoughtful. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh I love this. And they're, oh, yeah, see, is the anchor of my soul. I love that. Oh, such pretty paper. I don't know. I never find faith based paper, I don't think. I think I used to find some at, um, at, uh, the Mod Podge is sticky, so I'll have to, um, do my little powder treatment on it, but how pretty is that? Those are my colors and everything. Oh, thank you, Allison. I love this. Yes. Be still my soul. Yes. His grace. He counts the stars and calls them by name. Amen. Yeah. That's in a song. Oh, look at these cute little things. A Bible study, a date, verse, observation, interpretation, application. 
sermon notes, cute supplication. That's like when you're, you know, a prayer list when you're praying for other people. Nice. The Lord is my shepherd. Oh man, I love this. And they're all just beautifully glittery mud podged. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. How beautiful. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. I love this. Thank you so much. Be still and know that I am God. That's one of my favorite verses. Knock and I will answer. Amen. So pretty. The paper is gorgeous. And like I said, these are so my colors. Pray always. Yes. When life gives you more than you can stand, kneel. Yes. He restores my soul. Oh, this is so beautiful. Faith, hope, love. Nice. I am with you always. Oh, I might stick that in for Monday. Because <laughs> trust me, he will be there. He will be there with me. Yeah, I'll put that in for Monday. Oh, so nice. I am the light of the world. Amen. He so loved the world, John 3, 16, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him will have everlasting life. The Lord is my shepherd. I love that. I would so cut that cutie little patootie out. <gasps> so cute. Thank you so much. Yeah. Home. Oh, I could put that on the day I come home. And God made the two great lights, the greater the light to rule the day, the lesser night to rule the night and the stars. Yes. I love that. That's so cute. Bible study. We love because he first loved us. Amen. And then all these prayer requests. Oh, oh, I love this. Do not be afraid for I know that you are looking for Jesus who is crucified. He is not here. He has risen just as he said. Yes. Oh, and these little, like, bookmark things. These are so cute. Blessed be thy name. Love these. Prayer schedule. <laughs> That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. I love all of it. And I just thank you so much. So, so very much, Allison. And I thank all of you who have been, um, you know, continuing to pray for me. Oh, I just cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. Um, prayer does work. Let me tell you that. The Lord hears every single prayer. So I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. Look forward this week to the video about how I go about studying the Bible there. And I tell you in that video, there is no perfect way. No, I'm not done yet. I still have more show and tell. Um, yeah, there's no right way. I'm just showing you because some of you asked what my process is. Okay, so that that is what I'm going to be showing you. I think it's coming up on Wednesday, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and let's put all this back in here so it doesn't get lost on my desk. Okay, I have the last thing. So my kids yesterday, they went out. And about, this is my daughter's, they went out and about, they love going antiquing now. Oh, my heart swells, right? Because <laughs> uh, I love it too. So my daughter got this beautiful Fenton. I'm going to show you a little trick in a minute. This beautiful Fenton compote thing. She got it for a really good price. It was made after 1970 because it has the Fenton stamp in the bottom. But let me see if I can make this work. What I have right here is a black light. Okay, so we're going to turn that on and we're going to turn this off. Look at that. This is, if you'll notice, see it's glowing green. This piece here, it's hard to tell. There, now it's, so you see it glowing green with the black light. This piece is, let me, yeah, see you can you can see it it's super cool it is called um well it's called vaseline glass but it is also called uranium glass and so when they were making it they had used uh, a little bit of uranium and so it causes it it actually looks like a yellowish color but um and then there's some uranium glass vaseline glass that's like um 
green, light green in color. And so, yeah, she was super, super happy with this find. And yeah, it's just absolutely stunning. I want to put it up there safely so I don't break it because that would not be good. Um, yeah, and it was a really, it was a steal. I mean, it really was a steal. And then when they got home, they were so cute. Her and my, um, my soon to be daughter-in-law, she, they were both like running around all of our glassware, seeing, you know, shining it on everything. And we actually have, which I didn't even know, a few pieces of uranium glass. So that was pretty cool. And then both my son and my daughter, they know that I collect these things. These, I always thought that they were like some type of insulator for the telephone company. And so I had, I think my husband bought me the first one that I have, and it's a blue one. And uh, I also collect the electrical insulators as well, because that's an ode to my husband, because he worked in the the nuclear power business for many, many, many years. Um, but this is an ode to my mom because she worked for the, the, the telephone company years and years and years and years and years ago. And, um, but then I think my daughter did a little bit of research and these are not insulators for the telephone pole. They're actually paperweights that were given out, you know, and, um, so this says loyalty, service, fellowship. So maybe they gave them out to like someone who maybe hit their, you know, maybe it was a retirement gift. I don't know. I'd have to look more into it. This was given in 1990. This was, this has a date of 1994, I think. So not super old, um, but still vintage, uh, community service. So this, this must have been like, yeah, this says community service on it. And they're just beautiful. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous red color. It's just so, so beautiful. I love them. I love them. And I love my kids. And this is a gorgeous rose color, like a pink, a light pink color. It's just, they're just so beautiful. And they, these were actually made by Fenton as well. So there you have it. Those two things. And that's it. That's all I have to show right now. So yeah, my kids had some great finds and they're so sweet to pick these up for me because they happen to see them. We all love going antique shopping. Um, yeah, so I am looking forward to, you know, resting and recuperating after today. <laughs> and, um, you know, yeah, hopefully getting caught up on my Bible study and all of that. And yeah, so my little haul here, I've honestly, I just needed some retail therapy and, but I did really need the highlighter. So, <laughs> so anywho, I am hoping to be back real, real soon, as soon as I possibly can. And yes, again, thank you so much for your prayers. I really do appreciate it. I hope each and every one of you are, is just blessed beyond measure. So have a wonderful rest of the day. Have a great week and I'll talk to you all real, real soon. Bye for now.